What is up everyone, Patrick here, and in today's video, I'll be comparing the server coverage of two major VPN services, NordVPN and ExpressVPN, both of which are fantastic VPN services, and I will include a link to each one down in the description below. Now, if you're unfamiliar what a VPN is, it simply stands for Virtual Private Network, and it's a service that allows you to mask your IP while browsing the web by first routing your internet traffic through a server in a different region. Now, now this video is about server coverage because that dictates the available servers you'll be allowed to connect to. So let's jump to the desktop and see between these two services, ExpressVPN and NordVPN, who has greater server coverage. Okay, so let's start by opening up the NordVPN desktop app. And the first thing you'll see is an entire map of the earth with little location icons. Now all of these just represent the countries that NordVPN is available in, not the amount of servers that they have. So clicking on any one of these will allow you to automatically quick connect. And by default, it will connect to the fastest region and then fastest server in that region for you. Hitting disconnect at the bottom will then disconnect you from that VPN. And you've got a full list of the countries that you see on the map, but over here on the left hand bar, clicking on any one of these will quick connect to it like I just showed you. However, there are three dots that can allow you to open up that country's settings. From here, you can see the quick connect settings you have for that country. And by default, the United States is set to fastest region and fastest server. Now you can see just below the name of the country, you've got a list of all the available regions and clicking on the drop down bar will actually allow you to choose the region that you want to use. So let's say I'm closer to Los Angeles and want to use that one. And then from here, it will automatically detect the fastest server and connect to that unless you click on that drop down and then select the server yourself. This gives you a good idea for the server coverage available through NordVPN because now you have an idea for which regions within that country they're available in. And then from here, you can get an idea for roughly how many servers are in that region. And as you can tell, there are a ton in the Los Angeles region, selecting any one of them and then hitting connect will allow me to connect directly to that server. Of course, keep in mind that distance can play a factor in your speeds because it's just the physics of the situation. The farther the server is away from your location, the longer the latency or connection will take because of the amount of physical space it has to travel. Now that's not to say that a server that's farther away will always be slower than one that's closer. The real thing that affects server speed is the server quality. Are you using a server that is running older or outdated hardware, or are you running a server that is top notch and running some of the newest hardware? These are two major factors that will play into whether or not your internet will be slowed down while connecting to these VPN servers. Of course, both NordVPN and ExpressVPN are some of the best VPN services available, and they've invested a lot of resources into their servers. So you're almost guaranteed a quality server while using any one of these services. So switching over to the ExpressVPN desktop app to get an idea for their server coverage, you're greeted by your default smart location connection. So this is ExpressVPN's version of the quick connect that NordVPN has. It simply finds the fastest region and fastest server in that region for your connection and allows you to connect to it whenever you hit this power button right here. However, if you'd like a full list of all of the available countries that you can use Express in, simply click the three bars at the top and then hit VPN locations. Now, just like the Nord list, this is just a list of countries that ExpressVPN is available in. And it starts off with a full list of continental areas. Clicking on any one of these will show you all of the countries available in those areas that you can use to connect to. So we'll click on United States and this will drop down an entire list of all of the available regions. So just like in NordVPN, you could go in and see how many regions are available. Same goes for ExpressVPN. You can see all of the different regions that you can use. Some even have multiples. And from here, you can't actually break it down further and look at the servers like you can in Nord. So Nord gives you that slight micromanagement ability to go in and select a specific server if you're savvy enough to know what you're doing versus ExpressVPN, which allows you to go in and select the region, but not go any further and select your server. But for most use cases, that doesn't make a difference because of course, a lot of people aren't trying to select their specific server. They're just trying to use the VPN service to remain anonymous online. And so they just wanna start their computer up, 
boot up their VPN, and then get to browsing. They don't want to worry about trying to select the right spot for them. They want the service to take care of it for them. And both of these services provide just that. Now, coming down to that server coverage, if you want a better idea for the amount of servers or amount of countries that these services are available in, head over to each of their websites to check out for yourself. But as of right now, NordVPN currently has about 5,600 servers available in 59 different countries, whereas ExpressVPN has about 3,000 servers that you can access in up to 94 different countries. So NordVPN has more servers, but is available in less countries where ExpressVPN is actually available in more countries, but has less servers. Now keep in mind that is at the time of this video and that can always change because both of these companies are constantly growing. Now with all of that said, keep in mind that whatever service you end up going with might be different for you than it is for someone else. And thankfully both of these services provide a 30 day money back guarantee. So you can try both out and select the one that gives you better connection. The server might be farther away, but if it's running on better quality hardware, you're going to have a better connection speed and stability than you would versus a server that's closer running on outdated hardware. So I would recommend looking at this by a case by case basis and not necessarily making your choice based off of the general amount of servers. So if you're in a market for a VPN, be sure to check out NordVPN or ExpressVPN. I will drop links to both down in the description below and give this video a like if you found it helpful and subscribe to the channel hitting that bell for notifications and until next time thanks for watching